computer art tutorial. So what we're going to be doing today is creating a fruit monster. So we are going to start by choosing some kind of a fruit image and then we also need to find a mouth image, a side view of an open mouth of any animal you can come up with. So it could be a alligator, a baboon, or a wolf, or whatever you can come up with. And then you got to give some kind of a fun background image. I did also add kind of a little cast shadow here underneath to kind of blend this image in and make it seem like it was really part of the scene as well. So I'll go over that too. So I'm going to toggle back to home here in Pixlr and Pixlr E is what we're going to be utilizing. I'm going to click create new. I'm going to go with full HD. Title this fruit monster and click create. So I already got some new tabs already called up here where I have some images. So again, choose any kind of fruit, vegetable, um, something round I think is the best way to go. Um, it could be any kind of inanimate object too if you want to do a football, basketball, I don't know, you could do just about anything else. I'm going to right click on this image and uh, copy this image. Um, you might need to control click or alt click if you are on a Windows or a Chromebook. Um, so then I'll come back into this window and hit command V. Again, maybe I uh, control or an alt key if you are on a different type of machine. I happen to be on a Mac. Um, so once I get this image in here, I could maybe scale it up or down a little bit depending on what I um, want to do using your arrange tool. Um, once I've got that, you know, a decent size. So if it's really small, you're going to want to make it a little bit bigger. If it's really big, you might want to make it a little bit smaller just for working purposes. We can always adjust it later. So um, Then I went on to my wand selection tool and just clicked once out here um, to try and get this whole white area selected so that I can then hit the delete key. It is telling me I'm not in an image layer though. I guess for some reason I am not selected this layer. Um, it should kind of automatically default that. I guess I may have clicked sort of in this outer area and so it wasn't really a layer that I clicked on to select it. So um, some small areas left behind, I can hit Command D to deselect. Uh, maybe again, Control or Alt Delete D if you are um, on a Chromebook or a Windows computer. Um, again, just clicking a couple more times with the wand to try and get rid of the rest of that shadow there. I'm just going to jump back to my eraser tool and see if I can touch this up just a little bit with the eraser tool and just kind of click and hold and drag in order to erase some of those little bits. Um, I could zoom in really close here too and maybe use my wand tool again so these spaces are a little bit bigger now and a little bit easier to click on to clear them out. So there we go. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's see, maybe I will try and just take my eraser tool really quick and just go along this edge. Okay, Command D to deselect. Still have some little bits hiding in there that I'm going to try and take care of really quickly. Turn down the size of my eraser tool and then just kind of try to get in here, but now it seems like something's up. Uh, it's not uh, erasing, so it seems like sometimes, every once in a while, one thing about Pixlr that I have noticed as of lately is that it can get kind of caught in a bit of a glitch um, every once in a while, and so sometimes a tool like that might not function. We may have to do something like uh, close out this tab What's nice uh, sometimes is that it actually does keep our projects in here. So I can go ahead and click on this window again. Um, let's see if just kind of closing it and reopening it like that um, will allow me to come back in here and erase. Yeah, there we go. So like I said, every once in a while, if a tool is not functioning the way that you know it should function, um, you may need to kind of just like close out of the, that window and then come back. So, uh, so next, next thing is to, I can close this one out, is to choose a mouth of an animal to stitch onto this fruit, vegetable, or object of your choice. So um, important thing to add is open and side view into this search, uh, of whatever you're searching, and try to stay away from images protected that have um, you know watermarks over the top of them as 
you won't really want that to appear in your picture. So I'm going to go ahead and copy another image here, bring it to Pixlr, Command V or Control V, Alt V, um, again, depending on your machine. And then I'm going to take this image and just kind of, um, you know, I don't really actually have to do much resizing. These seem like they might be pretty fit sizes for each other, but again, we can adjust later. You know, if this is really big, you're going to need to scale down too small, scale up and vice versa. So what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to use the cutout or mask tool in order to uh, get rid of everything here except for the mouth. So I'm going to not use magic mask uh, or shape mask. But what I'm going to do is go to draw mask. Uh, you have lasso mask and gradient mask too. Um, draw mask is the one I like to use the most, I think. So um, what we want to start with, I believe here, is remove from mask. So if we use remove from mask, um, I'm going to make this brush bigger, at least for now, make it bigger. And then maybe I'll come back and make it smaller to do more detailed parts later. Is I'm just going to click and drag over this image. And everywhere where I'm drawing this red, it will remove from the picture. Now, what's really nice about a cutout or a mask is that it's not actually going to delete it. Okay, it's actually just hiding part of it. So I'm going to go again and I'll come back with a uh, smaller brush after I finish this part and try to get a little more detailed. Um, but I'm just covering all of this with this red uh, that lets you know that it's a mask. And there we go. Now I can, um, like I said, I'm going to go in a little bit closer with the zoom tool here, this magnifying glass, and I'll get a little bit closer around, whoops, around the edges there of this, uh, of the mouth that I've got here. So again, like I said, uh, cut out mask tool, um, draw mask. And now, um, if you were to add to mask, let me show you what that does really quick. So if I choose add to mask and I click over here, you can see it's bringing back that part of that image, which is kind of cool, right? So I'm just going to hit Command Z, Command Z. Uh, it would be Control Z if you're on a uh, on Chromebooks. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, make this brush smaller now because I'm trying to do a little bit closer, more detailed work, and I'm going to remove this um, area that's right up against here. Try to get really close against this tooth and kind of go around here and get the rest of that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, and you know, the other thing you can try is you could try to magic mask um, you know, it will get rid of some things pretty easily, magic mask wise. Um, that didn't quite do what I had hoped it would, but I can go back in again with this brush and kind of touch up some things here. But this looks pretty good. I think that, uh, that should work out. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit here in my zoom control window. And then, um, yeah, so let's get this mouth in place. So we take my arrange tool, I'm gonna click and drag this guy till it gets to sort of, I think, the right level here. And then I'm gonna rotate it by grabbing this top circle here. And let's see what angle I kinda wanna get this at. This seems like a pretty good angle here. Might need to rotate just a smidge more to get this to connect well, so. That looks like a pretty good angle right there. And I think what I'll do now is I'm ready to take my eraser. We're gonna erase this portion of the lemon so that it's not there. And it's gonna make this image appear, it's gonna make these appear to be a little more connected. So uh, back to my eraser tool. Um, I'm gonna make this brush for my eraser bigger. And then come back over here and I can just go all over this mouth. It doesn't matter because I'm on the image layer of the lemon behind it. So anywhere I'm erasing here is only going to affect uh, the layer underneath the image, the layer that I have selected. It doesn't affect that top layer. So that looks pretty good. Okay. Um, I may want to, you know, just because I am a bit of a perfectionist at times. 
go back in and maybe touch this mask up just like a little bit more because like right here it looks like a little oops I'm on the wrong layer so I'm gonna go back here you know this like angle I don't really like I just want to smooth this out and this down here too I'm just gonna smooth that out a little bit and again um, you know, something you can keep playing with and going back and forth between the add or remove if you want to add back bits of the mouth or you want to remove them. So that looks pretty good. Um, what I could also do now is if I'm set with this, I could merge these two layers together. Um, makes it a little bit easier to like move them around and stuff. So you click on these three dots over here next to a layer and I find the merge down button right here. So merge down takes those two layers and now they've been connected as one. So if I take my arrange tool and I go to move this guy, he's going to move all as one piece, which is kind of nice because, um, you know, it's just helpful. It makes it easier to get him into the right place together where rather than moving both of them and trying to make them line up correctly again. Okay, so uh, lastly, I want to pick kind of a funny uh, background image. And so this is kind of what my thought was was kind of this puppy sniffing around and uh, maybe this uh, this lemon is not feeling so sweet about this puppy uh, sniffing around here so I'm gonna take this layer and drag it underneath my uh, fruit monster layer and then I will go ahead and drag the corner of this image and drag it again and then I have pretty much what I intended as far as this project goes. I was going to add one other thing. I was going to add a little bit of shadow underneath this guy. I'll kind of shrink him a little bit, maybe move him a little bit over to the corner. And then um, I actually do have an open layer underneath here. If you don't have an open layer to try and add the shadow to, you can hit this plus sign that will add in a layer. I'm going to move this layer just right above uh, this background image and then I will take my uh, marquee selection tool and then choose ellipse to make a round shape or a round selection. Click and drag that so it kind of lines up with the area where I would expect a shadow to be for this lemon. And then I'll go ahead and take my paint bucket, here she is, fill tool aka uh, color as black and then click in here to make that a solid black shadow um, then I'll just go to the I'll hit command D first to deselect that Then I'll go to this three dots right here and I'll turn down the transparency of that shadow so it just kinda like fades a little bit more you know and if I really wanted to get into it I could kind of like take my uh, paintbrush and kind of like paint some like leafy looking shadows that we're uh, that might go with that too so anyways this looks pretty complete to me uh, it seems like I have a lot of space over on this side so maybe I might like crop this image down so that it's a little more focused on what's really happening here with the uh, the selection and then I'll just hit apply and there we go that looks like a pretty good finished project for me all right so I hope you guys have lots of fun and luck with creating your own fruit monster funny images here.